Hello everyone, good morning. So I am Rémi Gerbet, I am the Executive Director of Wikimedia France and uh, this morning I would like to share with you a project that we have just taught this year and uh, this project is cons uh, it's about Lobelize uh, cultural institution who are engaged uh, into uh, a clear policy of open content and participating on Wikimedia project. Uh, so to go now, a little bit of context. Uh, we are talking of open content, just a very short definition. So we are talking about online publication and availability under open licenses of cultural and heritage content with no restriction on reuse for internet users. So images must be reusable for a variety of use. Like many and many affiliates, uh, for many years, we developed editatons, we develop partnerships with several cultural institutions and trying to uh, training a person who are working in this institution to be more capable to contribute on Wikimedia project. Uh, but we, like Italians, people just before me, we also have some complication in France uh, to have some very uh, low regulation or very um, yeah, supporting open uh, sharing on Wikimedia project. Uh, first of all, we have a law in 2015, law who, yes, put some exception for cultural sectors, but still questions that digital works of art may impose royalties. So maybe institution now have a digitization process, but people should pay if they want to access to uh, good, good quality of, of images. And um, with the several law before, uh, after that, there is some incitation to share data, share content, but it still remains at the institution level to decide if they want to concrete engage to an open access uh, policy, and there's no very national law to, to, to support it. And so in 2022, uh, Wikimedia France um, developed a national report about open content in French GLAM uh, with an external agency. So we realized a very large uh, survey, uh, some interview to better understand what has the, the block, uh, what, what block in some several institution and what we can maybe develop to, uh, to help institution to uh, go into a more uh, open access, open content uh, policy. Uh, so now we still have in France some very bigger and major cultural institutions, uh, maybe like the Louvre Museum. It's still not open at all. And we are uh, still struggling with this kind of institution or Musée d'Orsay uh, and very small institutions who are much more proactive in it. Uh, and there is also this kind of, yeah, you know, when the bigger institution in France start doing something, so several small institutions want to do the same thing, but yeah, no, this it's, it's is not it's, it's not quite quite good for now. Um, and there is still so um, many things who can block people. For example, when we talk about open content, open access, or oh, this is English word that's so strange. Uh, what does it mean really? So there is also some some kind of yeah worried about about, about it. And um, people who uh, want to engage with a project, um, there is also always this this fear uh, that we, we that we send that yeah, but we will lose control of of, of our material. So you know, this kind of this kind of reactions. Um, so um, I just talk a bit about it, so we can, yeah. So this year we start to thinking about maybe we could, we 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 should much more encourage and say thank you to institution who already, uh, uh, yeah, start really uh, improve content on Wikimedia project and have a real uh, a real policy to do it. So we are thinking about maybe, maybe we can create our own label because maybe in France and in other countries some things that uh, people like it and especially institution. Yeah, you know when you can put on your website a small logo, you say, yeah, I'm proud of it. So we are we were thinking about it and we create those this label with some partners like Creative Commons, of course, and some 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 uh, external agency in France who are very involved uh, into 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 this field. So uh, how we do how we did it? So we create a candidate uh, 
candidacy process. Um, so any cultural institution in France uh, could could apply, and we receive 18 applications for 2023. So first of all, institution who wants to apply should uh, start by. Uh, da, da, da. I just want to move to the charter. Yeah. First of all, before uh, making candidacy, uh, institution should sign a charter. What we, why we do, why we do that? Because we want, we would like to be sure that uh, people who candidates to the process are really supported by their institution or their uh, municipalities, for example, with the PENV institution, because it is also possible because we know many people who contribute on a project working on museum, and we want to be sure that if the museum candidacy, it was very an institutional wants to be part of, the, of this process. So first of all, the museum or the collectivity have to sign this charter. So sometimes it takes it takes some time uh, because it may, uh, sometimes you need a vote uh, in the city. Uh, but this charter just reminds the main principles and value of making a project. So uh, centered person uh, model. Uh, we uh, are agreed to share our content on open licenses and and, and etc. So when this uh, charter has been signed, then institution can share uh, their, uh, their, their documents. And of course, to evaluate uh, this, we had a, a jury of seven members composed by Wikimedians and some GLAM uh, partner who are very involved uh, into this process. And uh, we decided to have two reporters by file. So when we receive this, this, this candidacy, two people from this jury just take care of few files and have to check uh, if uh, information inside these this, this, this documents uh, are, are true or not. Um, main difficulties that we have in two case, uh, we need to ask more questions to GLAM. So there is some lack in the form. So this is something that we have to, uh, to, to correct for next year. And sometimes two reporters did not agree to interpret the documents and what students have done. So, so it is necessary to vote <laughs> to define this. Um, and sometimes, yeah, this deadline postponed because, you know, uh, difficulties to gather GLAM application, charter signatures. So, and sometimes you have to go back to the regional authority and not the local authority so yeah so we have some some delay because of it but uh, after all uh, so we decided to develop three level of certifying so the bronze the silver and the gold level and uh, I will very uh, be quick on it but to understand that, to apply for the bronze level, you have to feel like to, uh, two main indicators. So these indicators are mandatory. And of course, the first one is to adopt open licenses um, and uh, to have a clear uh, communication about your policy. And then you have some optional indicators that you have to, uh, and you have to choose one of them to just have the bronze level. So you have to, maybe you can upload content on Wikimedia Commons on Wikidata. Uh, you can uh, organize some uh, edits uh, on the project by people who are working on inside the institution. You can decide to organize an editathon or, or big Wikimedia events. So yeah, you also you have to choose one, just one, and you have the two uh, mandatory uh, indicators. Of course, when you move to the server level, it's much more complicated. Uh, so this, there is much more uh, look after the quality of the images that you that you are open. So you don't. So we want very high definition images in the silver uh, level, and of course, we really would like to see inside the. Uh, job description of people inside the institution that this is uh, something already planned to contribute on Wikimedia projects. So you have to be on, on, on job description of some person, person inside this institution. And you also have some uh, optional indicators too, and you also have to choose one. And when it's gold, of course, it's all mandatory. <laughs> you have to fill all the, all, all the indicators. So this first edition, we certified uh, 16 uh, institutions in France. 
and uh, we gave her a institution in, at the National Institute of uh, History of Arts in Paris in April, uh, when we organize our uh, digital and culture days. So it's very uh, a journey dedicated to professional. So we have 120 attendees to this meeting, and during this meeting, we uh, discern uh, the label to 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 the institution. Uh, bit, uh, on the 16, we have nine glams in bronze, so you just have a uh, small list here. And this is a photo where personal physician receives the, the, the root of paper uh, with, with the label. Five glams in uh, silver, and you can have also some, some testimony here. Uh, people was just say that this label, oh sorry, this label also helps us to convince the co-workers and boards that our work with game project and open access are important. Uh, that's something that I really appreciate in this day that people who are coming on the scene to receive the label, it is not the director of institution. It's some, it's many, many times it's, it's our allies institution from many years who try and try again to organize things in some institution. And this is the day where they are on light and we say thanks to you, your institution receive a label. And on, on, and on the public, you also have people coming from the French Ministry of Culture. So it was very, very important for this person that their whole work for many years have finally be recognized and publicly recognized. So that was, that was very, very cool. So five glams in silver, and we have two glams in gold uh, directly. So. Uh, for people who know uh, well, the, the French situation is not a surprise to see these two institutions because in this institution we have very important Wikimedians <laughs> working inside this institution. So that's why that's why we receive gold directly. Um, and so yeah, so you, you have the same kind of testimony about we are really happy. Uh, we are really happy that finally there is a project that recognizes our choice or investment, and sometimes out of office hours. So yeah. So what next after this first uh, edition? So you, you, can, you can see how institution was labelized, just put the label on their website, for example. So just, just, a, just a few examples, how they be proud uh, to be to recognized. So on the, this is for the Museum of, of France. So you just see on the website that they just had it, uh, a section about the label. You see here Museum Raymond of, Saint of Toulouse, uh, on the website also, they put the label uh, on below of, of, of the website. And here for the Chanel de Rennes, so just 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 uh, near the European uh, fonts, you see the you see the label uh, open culture. So that's that's good. And at um, many, you you also have a specific page to to describe the label and why the institution uh, have been recognized. And this is a local archive of, of Lyon. They also put the label. Uh. So to be continued next year, what will happen? So this is the first test this year. So of course we will continue because we see many people very happy about this project. Uh, first of all, we uh, have some votes here in our jury, but now we plan to uh, develop a mentorship process with Wikimedia Volunteer for institutions who are in bronze to help them to got to silver and also mentorship for institutions going into silver to support them to go to gold. Uh, so we think that something could be very uh, interesting, especially for volunteers to be yeah, the mentors of a cultural institution and be the, be the point of contact to help uh, to help institutions to, to reach uh, uh, another level uh, for, for the label. Um, we will also uh, try to, yeah, um, maybe simplify sometimes the, the application because we have some delays this year, so we will uh, rethink about it. Um, and also, uh, I think the next step is also to uh, bring into this uh, cooperation and label maybe uh, over uh, partners uh, like Ecom, which is already involved in Italy, but maybe we will try to also have it in this process in France. And because we know the French Ministry of Culture is very interesting with this label, maybe try to catch them and get uh, also the Ministry of Culture uh, uh, inside, in, inside this, this, um, this project. So the calendar for next for, for, for the years coming. So in April this year is the first edition. So we will uh, opening the application uh, in October this year, and we will hope to have the next uh, labelized uh, uh, institution at the French Digital Day in 2024. 
And I think we have some time for questions. Yeah, thank you. I can... Ah, you have another mic, another mic. okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, very interesting. Thank you for sharing this. Um, yes, we are the, like Latin American here with lots of questions, by the way. <laughs> but no, my, my question has to do with um, do you need a big, um, like a big community of volunteers to support this? Or how do you manage like internally to, um, to give so much support to all these institutions to, to get these patches? or, well, that's a question. <laughs> Thank you for this question. Uh, we don't have so much volunteer involved this year. There's just two volunteer in the jury for very, uh, being capacity to evaluate, uh, uh, the contribution of institution directly on Wikimedia project. And of course, we ask some voluntary feedback uh, if we know that this kind of volunteer already works with the institution, if they already organize these datons, and so to have feedback. So how does it, how, um, how what's happened? Does it feel good, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, this is one of our major objectives for, for next year is to maybe develop this mentorship uh, uh, process to have more and more volunteer engage. And uh, we really would like uh, that this was uh, one of the volunteer who can present the, can, the, the candidacy of the institution to the jury. You know, there is a sort, sort of binome of people coming from the culture of the culture institution and a, volu a Wikimedian volunteer, and that both together can present the candidacy uh, of the institution. That's, for next year, we'll try. Yeah. Thank you, Remy. Uh, super interesting. Does the label recognition comes with anything else, like resources, maybe a scholarship to the Glam Wiki Glam conference, <laughs> or <laughs> or something that you might think for the future as a way to uh, motivate more people to participate? Uh, no. They just have the label, the communication support. Um, and they have this piece of paper and this moment on the sea, on the scene, but they don't have any. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the idea. We will think about it for next year. Thank you. <laughs> any more questions? Yeah. Hi, I'm just wondering how it, um, the project might double up with um, Creative Commons. And you know, the, obviously, there's shared interests. So, if you get a, a label or a certification, is that something that um, Creative Commons is working with as well? I'm not sure to hear perfectly your question. Sorry. Um, I was just wondering how the project, if you're getting certification through Wikipedia, if it also is the certification through Creative Commons. Obviously, they get institutions to sign policies and documents to try and get certification. I'm just wondering if there's any crossover between the two that you could maybe use together, uh, rather than just in France, but more globally. Between Creative Commons and Wikimedia France? Yes. On this project? Yes. Ah, uh, um, yeah, we, were, we, we, we had some support from on, on, for, for Creative Commons uh, in the uh, process to analyze files, uh, the, the documents sent by, by the museum. And this is at this time where Creative Commons supports supporters. I don't know if I clearly answered to, you, to your question. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>